The famous Mubarak Mandi Palace complex in Jammu marks an important chapter in the region's history. It was from here that the Dogra rulers reigned over their sprawling kingdom for over 200 years. At its height, the Dogra rule stretched from the Pir Panjal mountain range in the north to the plains of the Punjab in the south, the Jhelum River in the west and Ladakh in the east. This palace complex tells the story of Jammu like no other, of its golden days and troubled past. In the 17th century, the region was ruled by a number of Dogra chieftains, one of whom was the founder of the Dogra or Jamwal dynasty of Jammu and Kashmir. It was Raja Haridev who conquered the neighbouring principalities and turned Jammu into a prominent kingdom. According to Raj Darshani, a historical account of the Jammu region, Raja Haridev's grandson Raja Dhruvdev moved his residence from the old palace in the Purani Mandi area to a new, more spectacular location overlooking the Tavi River, which is today called Mubarak Mandi. In 1783, the armies of the Sukarchukia Missile, one of the many Sikh confederacies, sacked Jammu, bringing down a large part of the palace. This ushered in an era of mayhem, factional wars and tussles, all of which ended only in 1808 when Sikh ruler Maharaja Ranjit Singh conquered Jammu and made it a part of his kingdom. Maharaja Ranjit Singh went on to give the territory of Jammu as a Jagir to Kishor Singh, a distant relative of Raja Ranjit Dev. It then passed to his son Gulab Singh, whose reign marked a new phase of Dogra rule in Jammu. Interestingly, Gulab Singh had originally been assigned the region near what is today's Balakot in present-day Pakistan. But unwilling to deal with the rebellious tribes there, he exchanged it for land near Jammu. While Gulab Singh built several mansions in the Mubarak Mandi complex during his reign, he decided to move his capital to the Kashmir Valley, handing over the palace complex as well as the Jammu region to his son, Maharaja Ranbir Singh. Maharaja Ranbir Singh of Jammu and Kashmir renovated and enlarged the Mubarak Mandi Palace in 1874, and it is under him that it took its present form. His successor, Maharaja Pratap Singh, also built several buildings here, the most prominent being the Rani Charak Palace, which he built for his favourite queen Rani Charak in 1913. By this time, the Mubarak Mandi Palace comprised of 25 buildings spread across 12 acres. Built in different periods of time, these buildings are a spectacular mix of different architectural styles. Mubarak Mandi's glory days ended suddenly in 1925 when Maharaja Pratap Singh's nephew, Hari Singh, became the next Maharaja of Kashmir. Hari Singh took no interest in Mubarak Mandi and in fact seemed happy to surrender it to the Indian government in 1947. After Maharaja Hari Singh moved out, the complex served only as the court and secretariat of the Maharajas of Jammu and Kashmir until it was taken over by the state government after India's independence. Today, only one part of the complex is open to the public the Dogra Art Museum that has 800-odd rare paintings from different schools. There is some hope that the palace complex will see better days, as recently, the governor of Jammu and Kashmir has given a go-ahead for the restoration of the complex.